All right, so we may not see any trick shots today, but they are not the only ones hitting the court. Yeah, so pickleball is one of America's fastest growing sports, yeah. right? And now there's another local business adding to the mix. We know all those pickleball courts are popping up everywhere. Our Sam Carter is out at Pickleball Euphoria <laughs> for the grand opening. Hey, Sam. Absolutely, absolutely correct, Carrie. Five million players nationwide play pickleball, and right now, I am joined by the brains, the brains, the absolute <laughs> brains behind this. I have my guy Josh here in the black and Stephanie in the purple. Stephanie, you are, you both of you are the co-owners yes. of Pickleball Euphoria. And one of the things I really, you, we're playing right now, and one of the things I really want to get across to people is that this is a game for everybody, right? Let's play a little bit. Absolutely, yes. Uh, this is a multi-generational sport. So all ages, all stages of life. It also crosses all skill levels. Whoa! I don't know where you pulled that from, but I like it. Keep doing that one. Uh, the old back pocket so, there, Stephanie. So whether you have a professional sport background or maybe you've never played a sport in your life, pickleball is accessible for all. That's it's what an we incredible love about game. It. I'm sorry. Nice shot. Look at that. Oh, it's an awesome game. It really is a cool yes. game. And the rules are similar to kind of a hybrid of ping pong, racquetball, tennis, but it's not any of those. It's its own thing, right? It's absolutely its own thing. About a third of the size of a tennis court, kind of like life-size ping pong, maybe. Um, in the game, you start with your serve behind the baseline. After that serve and return, our goal is to get into this what you would hear everyone call the kitchen, this blue zone. You gotta be it's, Gordon Ramsay, dominating yeah, the kitchen. Absolutely, up here. absolutely. It's really the non volley zone. So you start the point at the baseline, come in, finish the point up here. Up here is where the magic happens. Back there, we're playing a little bit of checkers. Up here, we start playing chess. That's awesome. Okay, so um, a lot of fun. Again, it's super social or it can be super competitive. <laughs> it's what you make of it. But the one thing that's true across the board is it's a community driven sport and it's accessible easy to get started. Absolutely, yeah. Invented in 1965, reportedly by a Washington State congressman. That was where the first ever pickleball court was. That is provable. We're going to be back all morning, one more time anyway, with more on this incredible sport. Let's knock it around a little bit while we go out here. Guys, this <laughs> is a super fun game. Yeah, and that's a really cool facility, too. This is brand new. This is their op grand opening play. Look at all those people out there. I mean, yeah, so this is out in Springhurst. We know that one recently opened downtown, yep. another, you know, another facility, but they're everywhere, so you don't have to go far to find a place can't to get play enough pickleball. of that pickleball. No, they can't. <laughs> hey, no, coming up after the break, Hollywood like, is uh, 